for Kyle Sutherland. It worked for the Rams last night, and it may work again. That one's all the way back to the wall. It's a pinch hit home run for Landon Prentice. Two nights in a row he comes into the game, and two nights in a row he gets crucial hits. This time he'll touch them all. One pitch, one swing, one run. Now Paul Nice is going to go deep towards left. That one's trailing back, and that one's out of here. Back-to-back -back solo shots. The Rams take a 5-4 to four lead. Paul Nice puts it in the same spot on the same pitch. And the Rams swinging big here yeah, in the eighth. Yeah, we two big swings uh, from Paul Nice and Landon Prentice coming off the bench, uh, going back-to-back -back with home runs. Uh, the wind was a little bit in our favor. We got the ball up in the wind a little bit, and it carried out of the ball. Both of them carried out of the ballpark. So uh, that obviously ignited us, and we went on to score uh, another run in that inning to put us up three and kind of put that game out of reach. At the plate, the 2-2. He's going to rope this one out to center. This one's trailing back, back, back. It's off the wall. Brown has fallen down. Baran comes in. Machine comes in. The Rams have tied it in the bottom of the ninth. Weymouth deep out to left field. This one's headed back. Ball game over. Ball game over. Bill Cullen throws the helmet down. The Rams are swarming onto the field. They rally to take the series from the tribe. You know, that was a never say die type moment. Um, we got two uh, leadoff hits, one from Taylor Buran and then V-Mile Machine. Um, pitch at Lane Apprentice again. He actually put a good swing on the baseball. Didn't get much to show for it. Um, came back around to the top of the lineup, which is what you're trying to do in that situation. You're just trying to turn your lineup over and give your best players a chance to swing the bat. And uh, they came through for us. Uh, Billy, uh, Billy Collin hit a rocket uh, to deep center field for, uh, to clear the bases for a double. And then Jordan Weymouth took a great A-B, got down 0-2, um, fought back to 2-2, and then put a good swing on the baseball uh, and hit it over the left fielder's head. Even on Friday night, the game we lost, you had the sense that they, we, we fought to the end of the, of the game and the guys were starting to believe that they're never really out of it, you know, and so they just competed the whole day. And uh, it's a great thing about a doubleheader. You can, uh, you can win a series in one day, literally, by, um, you know, if you play hard for 18 innings. It's winning series. You know, every, every team that we play from here on out is either behind us or even with us in the standings. Um, we don't, you know, we don't play anyone who's at the top, top of the leaderboard um, from a record standpoint. So uh, we have to go play a good Old Dominion club. They're young, but they're good. Um, down at Old Dominion. Then we have a good Georgia State club coming back here. And then we finish um, the last weekend of the year with James Madison, who's playing really well as of late. They've gotten uh, some of their key players back healthy. Um, so they're playing good as of late. But our destiny's in our hand, and that's all you want. You know, and that's all our focus is right now with our guys is just continuing to, uh, to be able to play next weekend for something and the following weekend for something. So it's just taking it one game at a time to make sure the next one counts.